Chapter 9 Overview of HTML5 This version of HTML was released by World Wide Web Consortium W3C in late 2014. Using HTML5, the web pages can be designed to run multimedia, animations, mobile apps, music, high definition videos, and complex applications supported within browser without requiring additional software. This chapter gives you an overview of some common tags provided by HTML5. Playing video in a better way. Video is a container tag which encloses the tag source to define the source and type of the video file format. The three video formats supported by different browsers are MP4, OGG and WebM. Video tag has two main attributes. Controls. It displays the controls to play, pause, replay and forward the video. Autoplay. It starts the video automatically but may not work in mobile devices. Let's see an example. Video width is equal to 320. Height is equal to 240 controls. Source SRC is equal to movie.mp4 type is equal to video slash mp4 in quotation marks. Your browser doesn't support the video tag slash video. Here, browser will run the video if it supports mp4 format. Otherwise, the text your browser doesn't support the video tag will be displayed. The size of video pane will be 320 into 240. Along with the video, video controls will also be displayed. Input tag HTML5 types HTML5 provides some very useful types for input tag. Let's have a look at them. Input type, example, output. Search, input type is equal to search in quotation marks. Color, input type is equal to color. Email, input type is equal to email in quotation marks required. Range, input type is equal to range in quotation marks. Min is equal to 1, max is equal to 10. URL, input type is equal to URL. Number, input type is equal to number, minimum 5, maximum 18. Step is equal to 0 0.5 in quotation marks. Date. Input type is equal to date in quotation marks. Min is equal to 2018-01-01. Max is equal to 2025-01-01 in quotation marks. Time. Input time is equal to time in quotation marks. Date time. Input type is equal to date time in quotation marks. Week. Input type is equal to week. Month. Input type is equal to month. Better content layout with HTML5. The content of the web page can be organized logically in a better and convenient manner in HTML5 with the use of following tags. Article, header, footer, section. Article. Any self-contained independent component of the web page content can be treated as an article. For example, a news item, a blog post, a short story or any informative material. Header and footer. As their name suggests, header and footer are used to present the information at the top beginning and at the bottom end of any piece of text like any article or story. Section. Section represents a small unit of content like a title, subtitle, paragraph, image, etc. None of the above tags are mandatory to use. However, they help organize the content in an easier and structured way. For example, HTML, head page, title, slash head, body, article, header, h1, welcome to my daily story page, slash h1. Slash header. Section. This is the title of the story. Slash section. Section. This is the main content of the story. Slash section. Section. This is the conclusion of the story. Slash section. 
footer story reported by Ravi K dated January 1 2018 slash footer slash article slash body slash HTML organizing images and figures HTML5 provides figure and fig caption tags to display images and their caption together on the web page. However, images are still displayed using IMG tag. For example, HTML, body, figure. IMG SRC is equal to angqrs.jpg in quotation marks. Width is 300, height is 250 in quotation marks. Fig caption. Angkor Wat, a temple complex in Cambodia, largest religious monument in the world. Slash fig caption, slash figure, slash body, slash HTML. Combo control using data list. Data list tag allows creating a list of values from which the user can select one to fill in the text box. The text box can also accept any value typed by the user which is not there in the data list. Select tag in earlier version did not have this feature. Data list is given an ID which is used as reference in the list attribute of input tag. For example, HTML, body, input list is equal to city. Data list ID is equal to city. Option value is equal to New Delhi in quotation marks. Option value is equal to Mumbai in quotation marks. Option value is equal to Bangalore in quotation marks. Option value is equal to Chennai in quotation marks. Slash data list slash body slash HTML. Here the ID attribute of data list is given the value city and input tag is using the same ID as the value in its list attribute. Scalable Vector Graphics SVG HTML5 provides a powerful way of drawing simple line drawings using Scalable Vector Graphics SVG. SVG is a technique to draw images as components of drawing like lines, rectangles, circle, etc. A chart is an example of SVG. Another feature of SVG is that the drawings can be given any size without distortion since they are not composed of pixels like images in GIF or JPEG formats. Let us see how we can apply SVG in HTML5. To draw SVG figure, first you need to specify the dimensions of the drawing. This is done using SVG container tag with its width and height attributes. For example, SVG height is equal to 300, width is 350, slash SVG. The dimensions of drawing should be within the specified dimensions of 